Let's say you recently loaded up a 35mm camera and you took it out shooting. Now once you've gone through all those hot shots on your roll, it's time to take the film back out of your camera and get it developed. Listen, some of you already know how to do this, in which case this isn't for you, but some don't, and that's perfectly okay. Do your research, save some money, and learn as much as you can. Also watch my videos. 35mm film is stored in the canister, and as you shoot it through something like an SLR, it's being pulled out of the canister. Once you take the last shot on your roll, usually around 24 or 36, depending on how long your film is, then it's time to rewind it back into that canister and take it out of the camera. The film will stop advancing at the end of the roll. Now do not try to force it. You're gonna rip the film out of the canister and then you're in a pickle. On the bottom of most SLRs is the rewind release button. Press this button down and then you can rewind the film safely. The mechanism to open the door is also the handle to rewind the film. That's kind of neat, right? Pay attention to the arrow here to wind the film back into the canister in the right direction. The arrow is here for a reason, so just pay attention to it. Now just wind the film. Just keep winding, just a little more. At the end, you'll feel less resistance once the film is all the way back into the canister. Sometimes the film counter will also wind in reverse as you go. Hey, this means you're good. You can pop the film compartment open, and you can take that canister of film out. This thing is light proof, and your exposed roll of film is safely inside, waiting to be developed. Also, if you've got a point-and-shoot camera, then don't worry. These will automatically rewind the film at the end of the roll. But, if you want to call it quits halfway through, maybe give up, maybe do something else, then there's usually a manual rewind button that you can press. This will rewind the film entirely no matter where you are in the roll, so be prepared that you can't easily reload it unless you want to get the film back out. Hey, I've already done a video about that anyways, you can check that out as well. It has been an absolute joy hanging out with you all. I'm Noah, this is Analog Essentials, and I am out of here. I got bigger fish to fry. Check out the description for some links, support the Patreon, and and I'll see you soon.